october twenty third saint anthony marie claret saint anthony was born in the year eighteen o seven in barcelona spain he was a very pious child growing up he practised his father's trade of cloth weaving and in his spare time he learned latin and printing in his early twenties he entered the seminary and was ordained in the year eighteen thirty five as a young priest he travelled to rome and wanted to join the society of jesus he did so but he was thwarted by poor health he was then advised to dedicate himself to the evangelization of his countrymen for ten years he preached missions and retreats throughout Catalonia. his zeal inspired others to join his work and in the year eighteen forty nine he founded the congregation of missionary sons of the immaculate heart of mary known as the claratians the institute flourished in spain the americas and beyond only weeks after founding his missionary congregation of the sons of the immaculate heart of mary notice arrived from rome that he had been nominated to become archbishop of santiago the primary see of cuba he was consecrated bishop made an archbishop and sent to cuba as soon as he arrived he started to correct the bad customs and indifferent and lax morals of the people and began a real conversion of the island the freemasonry and other powerful people that were deeply entrenched in cuba could not tolerate this and intensely attacked st anthony mary claret he suffered all kinds of persecutions including several attempts on his life the opposition of the enemies of the church was so strong that finally the queen of spain decided it would be more prudent to remove him from the island and return him to spain at her request he was given a position that would make him confessor and spiritual director of the royal court of madrid one legend has it that as his ship left the shore of cuba st anthony mary claret cursed the island whose inhabitants had refused god it was not long before this curse took effect with its independence cuba rejected the life-giving spiritual sap it had received from spain and quickly became a centre of corruption and immorality a tourist site for those seeking dissolute vacations this was the case until communism took over the cuban government and implanted its regime you can see that the curse launched by st anthony mary claret was realized quite impressively back in spain st anthony replaced the queen's deceased confessor he continued to travel to various places on the peninsula preaching everywhere in eighteen sixty two from september twelfth until october twenty ninth one of the queen's servants counted the sermons he had given and they amounted to two hundred and five he created the academy of st michael for the catholic intellectuals called to sustain the influence of the church he founded popular libraries and saw to the diffusion of good literature he accompanied the exiled queen to rome and took part in the first vatican council in eighteen sixty nine he finally settled in france where he died in the year eighteen seventy he was beatified in nineteen thirty four by pope pius the eleventh and canonized in nineteen fifty by pope pius the twelfth